In this video we are going to visit the most popular Iceland location on the social medias in 2019, the fantastic Sturlegil Basalt Canyon. I think it's worth it. Incredible light. Literally on top of the world. So we are now on our way to the now famous Basalt Canyon. I think it's pronounced Sturagil, but I'm not entirely sure. And it has really popped up on like all social medias they over, over this past summer here in 2019 and uh, yeah well it's it delivers a very powerful photo so obviously that's the obvious photo it's one of those you just have to get uh, but i'm curious to see what other photography opportunities there are down there now to get to Studregil, you will have to drive into this long valley here in the background and park the car on the eastern side. No, actually you park it on the western side and then you cross a little bridge, which you're not allowed to drive over. Then you come to the eastern side and then you just hike for five kilometers. It's a fairly easy hike. There's no much up and down. And you just basically follow the road. On the way there, you will cross a small waterfall, well it's small if there's not much water in it, surrounded by basalt columns, absolutely beautiful. You can approach the canyon on the western side of the river, but you can't really get down into it and get all the really good photos. So we are now halfway towards the canyon and halfway there, there is this gorgeous waterfall, which reminds me very much of Svartifoss from episode 10. And it's just like surrounded by basal columns and we have the water just coming down straight in the middle there. Now I have tried with both some wide angle shots. I've been up into the waterfall and uh, I got a shot up there too, but I'm not entirely sure if I actually like that. But what I like, what really speaks to me is just to zoom all the way in with the, in my case here, the 24 to 105, because I left the 70 to 200 back in the car. We didn't want to carry too much around. So just zoom all the way in on this uh, green mossy part in the middle and make a long exposure and have the water just like as milk come down through the moss. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's like one of those photos that you just put on the wall and it just brings a lot of like calm and also wow to the room. So it looks, it looks very beautiful. So this waterfall is a very nice bonus on the way to the canyon.
After the waterfall, the road splits first into two and a little further into three. On the first split, stick to the right and on the second, stick to the left and continue along the road next to the field. After the field, you're basically there. Just continue on the road a little longer and follow the bend of the road down to the canyon. On the last part, the road turns into a small trail. So we arrived at Studeragil <laughs> and it's quite slippery walking down here, but it is also quite obvious where the famous shot is photographed from. So just walk down into the small gorge here and you will find it. And remember to look around. This is actually, <laughs> this is actually super cool. I don't think it comes through on my little Osmo here, but these columns are very big. Looks like something out of another world. The main reason why Stuhlagil has become such a famous location now is that it's a fairly new location. The basalt columns have of course been there for thousands of years, but until recently they were covered by the river. They've become visible due to the building of a hydropower plant further up the river. During summer the river is slow and the water is turkeys. However, during August they release some of the water with the effect of rising water levels and the change of color. We came a day or two too late for the turkeys water and got this brown rushing river instead. Okay, so walking down to the cliffs here, I gotta admit this place is super spectacular. You can get some draw-droppingly beautiful abstracts down here in this canyon. It is just... Like usually I'm not the big fan of abstracts, but this one here... Oh my god, this is so good. So as beautiful, the famous shot from down here is I am just not willing to risk my life to get it. It's simply just too slippery, it's too dangerous, the current is way too strong, there's no chance of getting back up if I fall down. So this is just one of those times where what you've pre-visualized is not what you get. But then again, like everybody has got that shot. I have got a shot up through the canyon and I actually think it's going to turn out really really good because of the simplified color palette and the brown grayish water which is not that good but it's it looks interesting with a long exposure and I have the basalt column some of the red some of the gray and some beautiful light in the back so I actually think that I will come away with something really good I have also been flying the drone as you can see here and it looks just jaw-droppingly beautiful so I'm using the drone to reach perspectives I wouldn't be able to do with my regular camera. So there's a reason why this canyon has become so famous and why people just go here. It is, it is really impressive standing here, but just, oh my God, if you go here, be so careful because it is so slippery. Just. Just don't go if you feel unsafe and use your brain, use your brain.
you want to join me in Iceland on one of the winter workshops I host, there are still a few spots left. If you want to go on your own, I have a digital map with all the fantastic landscape photography locations I show in my videos. I keep updating the map each time I release a new video, and I have even added a few locations I haven't shown in any video yet. The map is very easy to use with Google Maps. There are links to both the map and the workshops down in the description. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment.